city of South Fulton. All the areas that you see that are color coded, they represent the different districts, the different, the different parts of this proposed city. This blue section, we'll just call that Sandtown. In the salmon color, that's going to be part of Sandtown. And let me give you some perspective of the map. Going right down here, that's Fulton Industrial Boulevard. This line going down here, that's Old National Highway. Obviously, that's 285, and it breaks off to 85. We're sitting right now, right here in district number three. District number four, that's going to be Cedar Grove, Cliftondale. Old National is so dense, Old National really has three districts. Districts five, six, and seven. So this is the proposed, this is your proposed. Okay, from a practical standpoint, uh, we have met with the Speaker of the House, Bird and I, and we met with the Speaker Pro Ten, who is Jane Jones. Uh, there's a couple of uh, realities that we have to deal with. One is that this is a two year process. Okay, and I don't want anybody to be misled into thinking this is going to happen overnight. We are trying to, to get them to work with us to see if we can shorten that, that span. But right, if it's written in the code and the speaker has assigned his attorney to look into the detail of whether this is written in code or whether this is a policy of the committee that, that deals with it, and they are going to get back to us. But the point is, when we left the speaker, we left the speaker pro tem, both are in support of, of this effort. Now let's not be, you know, I, I'm, I'm a practical person. Okay, and the reality is that they want to see this as much as we do. You know, they want the entire county to be incorporated. And the truth be told, if we miss this opportunity and we don't do it, somebody else is going to do something else that will get us in a city. And it may not be the city that you want to be in. So let's, let's just be for real about it. You could end up in College Park, at East Point, or wherever. I don't know where everybody lives, but you are not, we're not going to see Fulton County stay unincorporated for much longer. You are going to end up in some like city that is, that is uh, solvent, and that we have the, as we mentioned a moment ago, the opportunity to, to develop land that has not been developed. Nobody else had that opportunity. Everybody else is pretty much filled up. And uh, so we can, you know, start now with the process of, of zoning and creating what we want. We want industrial areas, we want commercial areas, we want uh, housing, whatever the case may be. We have a really, truly unique opportunity. And I'm really proud of the fact that we can do this and we can do it from the ground up. If everybody, you know, just puts all their craziness to the side, we all choose to work together. We all understand that you know we're not going to do this alone. We have to be a team, and we got to make everybody feel like they're part of it. So I'm on board. Uh, I'm going to do everything I can to make this work. As I said, this the speaker, the speaker pro tem, and uh, their staffs have been told that we're going to pull this off. We just got to figure out. The uh, May just talked about seven districts that uh, essentially the people who live in South Fulton would be able to control their own destiny because uh, as we all know and have seen over the last few years, there is there has been and continue to be an assault on Fulton County uh, by the North End Republicans. And they acknowledge that they don't, I mean, they, they may not want to do it publicly, but they, they have made it very clear through their actions and through their words that they don't really want Fulton County to be in the business of providing the services that the people in the county want and deserve, parks and recreation, fire, police, public works. And, um, you know, it's clear that the, the county can sustain itself. And the ability to design and create a city that is uh, inclusive of the interests of the people who live in this community is a unique opportunity. There are a lot of hurdles. There are a lot of hurdles, even some internal hurdles. We don't have all our representatives here. Uh, we've got to, as a members of the House, we've got to engage the members of the Senate. We've got to talk to the Lieutenant Governor. We've got to make sure that everybody who is with us
us and really understands all that is going on. I mean, there, there are a lot of moving parts. So as Roger said, you know, let's not be fooled by the bright lights of the great business and opportunities. It can, it can even have a two and a half million dollar surplus. We've got to work with the existing cities. Because if you look at this map, you see there are some white spots inside of the colored areas. That means that's another city. That's, and that's multiple cities. That's Union City, that's Fairburn, that's College Park. All of them have tangential connections, and we've got to make sure that all these colors connect with each other. So we're going to have to work with the existing cities to make sure that you know, we don't step on each other's tours. We're going to, we're going to have to create some, some partnerships. The good news is we've got some opportunity to create some partnerships because we've got some new players uh, in Union City and in, in Fairburn who were not there six years ago, who are probably a lot more um, receptive to the idea than, than the people who were there before. Um, there are lots of hurdles, but if we work together, we can. It's certainly not insurmountable. This notion of, of, of being able to um, shorten the window that is two years. The irony is that it was a Democrat who initiated that two-year window because of all the corporations that were going on. That was a way to try to slow it down, and you can. And so now it, it's a uh, you know, roadblock that we've got to we've got to get over. Um, again, nothing that we described in working with the city, working with the Senate. Uh, working with the Lieutenant Governor, working with, with others, is a hill too high. I had the opportunity to speak with several uh, North County legislators, and they are going to be supportive of whatever comes out of this. So whatever the Senator Democrats come up with, they're going to be supportive of. So I think we're headed in the right direction. I think it's just a matter of time now. There's a very aggressive schedule which is great, and I think that all of this can happen very quickly, and it should happen very quickly. So I'm with you 100%. Yeah, Just a little bit of background. As you know, Fulton County, South Fulton, is the last part of Fulton County that is yet unincorporated. And what we're experiencing, experiencing today, our sister county to our east in DeKalb County, their experience of what our county has gone through over the past seven years. Dunwoody has become a city. Brookhaven has become a city. Now we have five to seven other communities who are trying to beat you to the well to be the next city created in this area. Would it be Lakeside? Would it be Druid Hills? Would it be one of the other communities? Here's a bunch of our new track. Stonecrest. South DeKalb. They have a lot to offer over there, but let me tell you what they don't have. Senator James used to call it God's country out here. Do you still call this God's country? This is one of the few areas in this part of this region that has so much undeveloped land that it is just mind blowing of the potential of this new city. The question becomes where do we go from here? 